Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend and on Saturday I had another surprise. I got the second part of my design team haul from Panelisa. So I'm actually going to share that today and then for the next you know few days going up until Friday again I'm going to be doing Panelisa projects. So I'm just going to get stuck straight in and the first thing that she sent me, you have to forgive all the shadows today, is that beautiful sewing box. And I think I'm going to do that one tomorrow. And to go along with that, you can build it up into a set of all the little sewing elements with, um, what does that say? Ooh, you know me, I can't read back to front, but, um, I'm going to be doing it tomorrow, so we're going to find out. But we've got scissors, we've got a pin cushion, we've got needles, we've got pins, we've got, um, oh, what you call that, a thimble, we've got buttons, we've got cotton, we've even got a little safety pin down there. Just a really sweet set, so up tomorrow with that. And then if you enjoy knitting, I can read that, that says knit. And you've got all the different walls. You've got a crochet hook. Really lovely. Great size. And then she sent me a little teacup or coffee cup. And that comes with hearts. So I'm going to be doing that one because, of course, the paper pack she sent last week was um, all cakes and things. One of those paper packs. And then I've got a cute one, which is going to be brilliant with your peachy keen face stamps even though this does come with faces and those are little peas in a pod oh i tell you what I've, I've got my overhead light on and the color looks like it's getting weird doesn't it and then this one which is either a fabulous doily or it could be a snowflake so that's a double use one and i think actually i'm going to put that down so you know what i'm making tomorrow I'm going to do the sewing box. I'm going to use that doily and I'm going to use that sewing paper pack that she sent last week. And then the next one, and I'll measure this, this gorgeous, gorgeous lattice panel. I hope that you can see it okay. And that is cut line to cut line, five inches. I love dies like this. They remind me of um, fall and picnics, four and a quarter because it just reminds me of the sort of pie crust lattice. And you've got that wonderful stitching. So I really love that one. And then we have a large donut or even a fried egg, if you wanted to take away the outer edge and just use this in white, that in yellow and do the smiley face. So that's another double use one. Donut with frosting or a fried egg. And talking about eggs, we've got little eggs in cartons. Of course, great for Easter, but also just for sending something a little bit fun to someone to say that they are extra special. And now we've got Christmas. So I've got a Christmas tree, I've got a star, and a little lace-type gift. That's a really sweet one. And then I've got a Santa sleigh. That's one that needs making up. And then I just love this one perfect time of the year you know kind of Indian summer colors and things like that for that elephant and then we have a tree that's got its score line so it can be folded and you can make a three-dimensional stand-up tree or you can cut it several times and glue down into the fold of a card so that when it opens up it pops out 3d at you so that's a multi-choice one and then we have a cute little lacy fox, nice for the autumn. And then we've got a lacy Christmas ball that says Noel. Once again, I do apologise for the lighting. And then we've got a nice sort of retro TV and the aerial on top there, the little antenna has got hearts on it. So that's really cute. And then another nice little one, and we've got a little bag. So that would make a really quick bag. You just cut two, cross these over, and then fold the sides up. We'll have to make that one. 
And then we've got a little Merry Christmas sentiment with all those gorgeous little stars dangling off. That's really sweet. And then we have a wreath that is swirls and flowers with a bow. And then a very large happy birthday, which has got different things. You've got the dots, you've got the stars, you've got the chevron. And I can never remember what that's called. So I think it's called, is it a coin? Coin design. Might be, might not be. But I will measure this because it's rather large. And that is, ooh, it's almost six inches. Let's go across there. Yeah, you're going to need a six by six card to cut that out because this doesn't have a cut out edge, it cuts in. So that will actually cut into your card stock. And then I have a huge amount of stamps and I've got this, I don't know what that design is, maybe it's quatrefoil. I think I would call that a quatrefoil. And these are five by five stamps. And then we've got a lovely rose. That's a great one for just splashing about your watercolour, especially if you um, emboss it in gold or whatever colour you want to do first. And then we've got a chevron design there. And then we have a kind of plaid, dog tooth, buffalo checky. And then there's a lovely flower blossom stamp. Oh, and this is a nice one. A lot of little ink paint splats. Nice one for uh, doing snow scenes as well. If you're doing um, a real sort of like frosty grey blue background and then you've got some white ink and you stamp in white ink, that would make a very nice snowfall background. And then you've got some lovely trees there. That could be Halloween or springtime because there are some leaves. And then we have another leaf background. And running through this is script. Hope you can see that. So that when you stamp it, you're going to have script going through those leaves. Right, so that is dies and that is stamps. And then next up, I think I need to split the pile so that I'm not that high to the, uh, the camera. And that is stickers. And I'm not going to get them all out. I'm just going to show you the backs of the packs so that you can see what is in there. So that's the sewing theme. And this um, actually goes with the sewing paper pad that Panelisa sent me last week. So you've got all your cotton reels, your little buttons, you've got your sewing machine, plenty of flowers and your little tickets and labels. And then the next one is a kind of fairy set where you've got that fairy at the top. You've got pansies, wildflowers, tickets and numbers. And then we have an Easter one. See, I'm trying to get some clarity. So there's rabbits and bells and numbers and tickets again. Little chicks in eggs. And I did use the Easter pack. I made that um, Easter card, if you remember, using that beautiful paper doily from Panelisa. And here's the sticker set that goes with the cakes and things. So I'm likely to be using those when I do that cupcake. I like that little pot on the shelf. That's really sweet. And then in this set, oh, I suppose I should show you the front of the pack, shouldn't I? There you go. That is the front of the pack. And if I flip that one over, you can see butterflies, roses and numbers. A very nice little dragonfly down at the bottom. And then the next one is rabbits again. And you've got pretty little poppies and you've got lambs. This is very springtime. And then you've got the birdhouse. Numbers, tickets and little labels again. And then we have a birdie one. There's a, a very good selection of birds there and little labels. That's, um, I don't know if you can see that one. That's got a little red cardinal on a branch. So if you're doing an ATC or something and making it look like a little Christmas postcard, that would look really sweet on there. And then next up, we are autumn. So we've got 
mushrooms and we've got sunflowers, roses, little robin there and more little bird labels and that little um, acorn I'm putting my finger by it is really cute and obviously you know they are bigger than the image shown on the back so flip that one over and those are basically the stickers for the cards uh, that I made on Friday so you've got the owl and the squirrel you've got the mushrooms another nice little blue dragonfly down there those are really sweet and then we have if I shake these down show you the front of the pack there we've got all leaves and lots of nature going on and then I flip that over you've got a vintage lady you've got butterflies it'd be really nice actually because they do come um, some of them with a white outline and I tend to fussy cut around them but I'm the kind of person who would fussy cut the uh, white outline away from that lady and pop butterfly wings behind her for an ATC and that would just look really sweet so another nice little collection and then next up we have lots of fairies dancing and they've got wings butterfly tickets and frames and numbers wildflowers again I think that's an amaryllis I'm pretty sure it is because it's got the bulb there but you can you know kind of see some of what's in the packet and of course you can use these all you've got to do is just you know make sure you die cut above that section because you don't want a number there but she would make a nice little tag if you can just get your tag into that section so I don't like to waste anything and then we have turn it the right way around more ladies vintage ladies roses ladies in hats more labels more numbers really lovely and I'll flip that over again so that you can see the depth of the colour in fact I'll open this one so that you've got a good guesstimate of the size of the stickers I'm going to pull the whole thing out because as I was saying once again I would use that for a tag but here we go with the size of them and I'm putting my fingers on them so you can see I'll try and pick that up they're just really lovely and if I can just get that back in because I don't want to drop them all on the floor which is my usual trick and then Bo will come running in and try and chew one or two right so that is what I've got for you today and as I said I'm coming up tomorrow and let's do that sewing basket and use some of that sewing paper I thank you so much for watching have an absolutely awesome day and as usual all links below Bye.